Another intense Senate race in Georgia between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker, or as um, whatever the fuck her name was, the previous Senate holder of this position would call uh, Raphael. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Um, they're going to be going up. They, uh, it's Herschel Walker, a football player, a Georgia Bulldog, has been running against Raphael Warnock, the current senator who has not been in the position for that long. He kind of was like, I think he's only been senator for like two years because there was a special election, which is how he got into power. But um, so we're going to take a look at their their debate uh, highlights and take a closer look into these two candidates and see what they're all about. But yeah, this is Georgia Senate race. A major political showdown in Georgia. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker squared off in their only scheduled debate last night. Early voting for midterm elections begins Monday in Georgia. This closely watched contentious race between the Reverend and the former running back could decide control of Congress. Nicole Killian is in Savannah and joins us now. Nicole, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Dana. Representatives from both campaigns feel pretty good about how things went after a policy packed debate that was full of fireworks and props. Okay, stop talking. Let me see the debate. The oh, Southern Hospital. It was right the about Southern to happen. Fuck. That was full of fireworks and props. The Southern Hospitality quickly wore off. This race is about who's ready. <laughs> the Southern Hospitality quickly wore off. I love news reporters. Fucking brilliant to represent the people of Georgia as Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and GOP challenger Herschel Walker retreated to their corners. He's for Joe Biden. I'm for Georgia clashing over everything from the economy, crime and education to voting rights and abortion rights. I believe in life and I tell people this Georgia is a state that respects life and I'll be a senator that, that protects life. He says no exceptions even in the case of rape incest or the life of the mother. I think that's extreme. Walker was also confronted again about reports he allegedly paid for a woman's abortion in 2009. That's a lie. My opponent has a problem with the truth. The freshman senator took aim at other claims by his opponent, including that he once worked in law enforcement. One thing. So, so yeah, um, a fun fact about Herschel Walker is he has many personas one of them being the FBI officer claim that they're talking about. Um, dude has like literally said he was like a former FBI officer with no proof. Like he, he's like and other among other things. And the reason for that is is he unironically has a CT. Uh, what is it called? Not C. It's not just called CT. Uh, it's the thing you get when you play a lot of fucking football. Uh, CTE maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a chronic traumatic in in cell. I have literally seen three English language words that I have never heard in my fucking life during this stream. Okay, cool. We're learning today. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or it's it's yeah, it's particularly associated with contact sports such as boxing or American football. So his brain is broken, unironically. So you know, whereas John Fetterman had a stroke and he has communication issues and not cognitive issues. He has cognitive issues, Herschel Walker, and in the past that has led him to uh, say he's an FBI officer or he's a this uh, person. And he has come out and said he has multiple personality disorder. So that's kind of what they're referencing there. And I hope they're going to show it in the debate, but related to that, there's a very funny moment coming up. Stop with the loud notifications. Can I disable that? Go to notification settings. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. No notifications. Gone. Thing I have not done. I've never pretended to be a police officer. I am what with many police officers. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You see that? You have a prop. Yes. That is not allowed, sir. Yes. I ask you to put that prop away. The candidate's personal. So yeah, he he's not supposed to show props, and he pulled out a police badge to be like, I'm I'm a police officer, see? And that was kind of the big controversy from the night. The 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 funniest uh, Herschel Walker goof. Um, so yeah, that, that, now, during the debate, there was like a whole moment where she's like, I told, we talked about this, you cannot show props, and it almost feels like 
she's saying that from a like i'm trying to help you out here dude because all of the questions from the night were very like easy on herschel walker and slanted from like a right wing like point of view it almost sounded like she was like i'm trying to help you out here you fucking idiot come on you can't show that dude which is very funny um it's funny he's he literally has a child brain from playing when the helmets were shot soft which is also a fact he played football when the helmets were more soft and so he, he has cte to the max let's be real so issues were also thrust into the spotlight as warnock was questioned about child support payments to his ex-wife listen i um i went through a divorce like a lot of people my children know that i am with them and for them and that i support them in every single way that a father does while walker was pressed about accusations of abuse against his ex i've been very transparent and i'm not ashamed to admit it and i say i had a mental problem so yeah, that's pretty much it. You got um, that. Those are kind of the highlights from the debates. You know, not as uh, nothing too crazy there. But let's look at their positions here. We got Herschel Walker. He is known primarily for being a Georgia Bulldog, and then he has made the transition into conservative politics because why not? That is literally the only reason he has a chance of winning this is because he was a football player in Georgia. So let's see political positions. Abortion. In May 2022, Walker stated he, stated he opposes abortion and wants no exceptions to abortion bans. And he also called for more money to promote adoption to single, support single parents. And uh, so I, he endorsed also the whack Lindsey Graham bill that was like very, very far right when it comes to abortion. Uh, and uh, he had a scandal recently where some uh, somebody he's had a he almost had a child with came out and said he paid for her abortion. So uh, a bit of a hypocrite there, as most Republicans are. Like there have been many scandals of Republicans who are anti-abortions having abortions. So you know, the classic Republican move. Uh, school shootings in the aftermath of Robb Elementary. There was a little he, when he was asked about school shootings, he replied, Walk, Cain killed Abel. Uh, okay. That's a problem we have to look into. Uh, okay. That kind of makes no sense. He supports increased government spending on mental health care as a partial solution to gun violence. When he asked someone's preservation to gun control legislation, he replied, What I like to do is see it and everything and stuff. <laughs> so, uh... Not much there. Uh, if anything, he's uh, for raising mental health care, but which is probably just a facade, as like a lot of Republicans say that, and then never do anything about mental health care funding. Uh, environment. When asked about the Green New Deal, Walker said that he opposed it. Of course, uh, since we oh, this is great. His this take on, his take on the environment is hilarious. I remember this. He said, since we don't control the air, our good air decided to float over to China's bad air. So when China gets our good air, their bad air got to move. So it moves over to our good airspace. Then now we got to clean that back up. Absolute lunacy. <laughs> All right, you know, we got air floating on over to China. That's kind of his stance on the environment. Uh, you know, he's not going to be for a Green New Deal. He said he opposed it because of this uh, literal uh, batshit lunacy. Economy, he redu favors reducing federal regulations to boost businesses. So classic uh, pro-free uh, market kind of guy. He opposes transgender athletes in women's sports events. Uh, let's get men out of sport, out of women's sports. Uh, and he asked about same-sex marriage. He said the state should be finally free to decide the legality of same-sex marriage. So, you know... Not great, not great on that front either, um, but great uh, Republican-wise. They're going to love that. And that's pretty much it. Raphael Warnock now, at first I didn't really care about him, but he's actually kind of cool. He's kind of more progressive than your average Democrat, but, like, I don't think he's, like, that stunningly great. I don't know. Let's see. So, abortion, he's described himself as a pro-choice pastor. So yeah, he is a pastor. That's part of his background. I think he preaches at the same, or used to preach. I don't know if he still does that as a senator, but he does that at the same church that like Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Jr. did, I think, or Martin Luther King. Yeah, one of one of those. I forget which one's the junior. The uh, yeah, or yeah, Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, um, uh, the same church as him. 
And uh, so he's, he's a pro-choice pastor, uh, capital punishment. He opposes the death penalty, uh, so I personally agree with him there. He is. Uh, he received an F from the NRA, so that's a good sign as a leftist for me personally. NRA accused him of supporting the criminalization of private gun transfers. So yeah, he's pretty pro-gun control. Immigration, he criticizes Trump's shithole countries comment in 2018. Uh, he's also supported keeping Title 20, for, keeping Title 42 expulsion. So yeah, he's pretty good on that. He supports a $15 minimum wage. So yeah, pretty overall solidly progressive, you know, I'd say. Uh, and his voting record has been pretty good. So in my opinion, he's pretty solid on that. And the polling wise, it has very recently like turned, oh, turned to the favor of Walker. So this is literally as of today. So like yesterday, uh, I'm trying to barely move it. Yesterday, Warnock up by 0.4. So the most he's been up on Walker, they've never really been, one of them, Warnock's never really been too high. Started off with Walker winning or beating him in the polls, then Warnock beating him by the same amount roughly. And now it's like dead neck and neck. And what I was saying earlier, I always think polling underestimates Republicans. So you gotta give two points to Walker there. So not looking great in the Georgia race either. So as of right now, I would predict probably Walker is going to win. Even though despite the fact he his brain is broken. You know, you've got all these Republicans funneling money into attack ad, attack campaign attack ads against Fet John Fetterman for his stroke and having a communication issue, not a cognitive one. And there's all this media coverage about how can he do his job? Can he work in the Senate? You don't hear jack fucking shit about anyone questioning Walker's mental capabilities when he has come out and said he has CTE and has multiple personality disorders and all this crazy shit. You know, I don't necessarily think his disability should pre pre prevent him, uh, Walker's disability should prevent him from being a senator. But if you're going to relentlessly uh, criticize John Fetterman and he's going to dip in the polls, why the fuck ain't this happening for Walker? It's because we have a very biased right-wing lean in this country, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's the race in Georgia pretty much in a nutshell. We've got a very far-right uh, Georgia Bulldog who's probably going to win, let's be real. Uh, but, yeah, 